Hello, welcome back to Dungeon Warfare 2. So, um, I kind of want to try one of these, these ethereal maps. So I think we're going to try Ascension. See what that's all about. So we'll start with one life because, again, I, I like that. I think it's good. Um, we'll give them more health. We'll have them regenerate health. I'm not going to do the 30% more enemies. I don't think that's really ever worth it. Now, see, this is good if you have, like, no mastery levels. Like, that's freaking great. And then starting gold bonuses are half. Trap slots are restricted to three. That would be pretty good, too. Especially if it's, like, only three traps. Ooh, look at this. So we got three entrances. That's pretty cool. That looks like acid. So, right here would be good spring traps. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry for sneezing. And then, same here, you can do spring traps or push traps. Those would be good. So, I want push traps. Bombs will be fine in this. Um, let's keep the frog trap. This is six nut. Kind of looking at the cost. Those are still cheap. The bolt trap I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna put in push traps. I do like the slime traps. That's pretty good at slowing them down. Alright, let's look. So, what I'm thinking is, they're gonna come in through here. I want them to come down this way. Oh, this is such a pain. So, let's say we put a block here. Then that means they all have to come down from here and then come up this way. But I want them to go this way. So, what if... I put a block there. Now they're forced to go this way. Now let's say we put a block right here. Now they're forced to go around this way. Then, let's say I put a block right here. Then they have to go down this way. Then you can put a block right there. Now they're forced to come over this way, which we can then put a block here and make them come all the way around. Now, I'm trying to see if there's any way I can make this longer. Because, see, that's what would be good. Because what if I block this off and made them come... Like, block this, then block this, make them where they all have to come this way, then come up, then come around, have this blocked off, then make them come this way. Then 
make them come this way, down, and around, and all the way around. So, let's sell that. So let me show you what I mean. Let's say we block that and we sell this. Alright, so... How do I want to do this again? We all come up this way. Well... I think I could put the block right here. Okay, so now they're forced to come this way. Then we put a block here. Then they're forced to come... Come this way. Let's put the block here. So now they're forced to come this way. Then we put a block there. Sell that one. Then they come here. How are you saying that you can go up through there? Okay, yeah. So then they come through here, come around, and we're good. I mean, we can actually just put the block right here and make them come around that way. be going the furthest. Yeah, so this will be the best, making them go all the way around this way. And then, instead of putting that there, let's put it right here, tuck it away. Because they're not going to want to come all the way down here to hit it. This one they will. We'll have to make it, I don't know how to, reinforce it. That's the word I'm looking they destroy this, that's what's going to be sucking. Yeah, I think I'm going to roll with this like this. So let's go ahead and put some bombs. Save these 
I also need to get one more unit on hand. Come on, give me 400 gold. Better yet, let's put it over here. I need to get a trap right here. Oh, they just completely ignore. They don't even care. Good. I need to get another one right here. Built in 20 seconds. That's pretty cool. Because the more gold you have at the end, you gain more experience. Shoot, I'm, I'm all about sitting there uh, doing this. I will exploit any type of little bug like this. Alright, so now we're at 7, 
I know how how I need to kill him. I'm just not gonna do it yet. See, I can do this. But that's awesome. This will get you money. Oh, there's one over here. See, that's all I needed to do. I'm gonna sell some of these traps so I can get more money. Cause I'm not gonna need these traps. Traps I need are right here. Look how much money I've accumulated. Alright, I'm gonna wait until we're about 20,000 and uh, then I'll just end it. That's a lot of gold. That's 2,160 gold per minute. It's a lot of gold. Almost there. Close it down. Alright, there it is. That was it. <laughs> ah, I could have kept going with that. But see, this is why I did that. Unspent gold. Cool, cool. See, unspent gold at the end of battle awards 1% more experience per 1,000 gold. Well, we had 20,000 gold. They gave us 20% more, more experience. That's awesome. Oh, that's what happens? Oh, that's sad. It's gone. I'm so sad. This personally, I don't even see that it's worth it. I mean, it's it's cool and all, but look at the damage. The damage only goes up by 25%. Alright. 
And let's look at something else. This goes up by 30%. 30. Let's look at this. The damage on this goes up by 18%. But it has a really fast rearm speed. I mean, this personally was only 12%, and I did it because it was a pretty fast rearm speed. But really, it's not even worth it. I should get rid of it, to be honest, and invest. I mean, this would be better than the Dart Trap when it comes to damage-wise. But rearm speed? Ah, it's not that great. And I don't even know how much this costs. Even the Bola, this Bola Trap gives you a rearm speed and the same amount of damage bonus as the rocket trap and it even has physical force bonuses but then again I don't know what the upgrades are on this but we'll check it out oh oh we also had items where did it go Wait, what happened to it? Are they in another... No, it should be here. It said I got two items, but I didn't get them. And it shouldn't have... Maybe that was it. I don't know. No, because that ain't it. <coughs> I don't know. It don't matter to me. All right, let's look at another one. So we know what happens to these ethereal maps. They disappear, which is disheartening. So we got Hall of Totems, which is a tier four. We got Gale Canyon, which is a tier five. We have Storm Pit, which is a tier four. We have the Lesser Labyrinth, which is a tier four. And we have Swordfall, which is a tier four. So we clear the map and clear the map within four minutes. I don't know why they have to say clear the map twice. They could just say clear the map within four minutes because that's what you have to do. This one it says destroy six or more totems, rush all waves, and clear the map. And then these are just, you know, chilling. Well, it's already been about 30 minutes, so I'm going to end the video here. If you like what you've seen, you know what to do. And I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.